Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. This is part 6 in the series. I hope you enjoy it. So if you remember where we left off, we were heading into the Marrow. We're trying to find exit D, D5, was it? Something like that? Let's have a quick look. It was uh, exit D5. Yeah, so we are now through the Marrow. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens here. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Okay, so. Lily. Lily. Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Cool, that was it. Uh, um, uh, let's just unlock it quickly. If it will relock or something. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mobius. The uh, generous gifts. Like that slime from your hands. Thank you very much. A metal pipe. I really want to kill him. I need that sludge, guys. I need the sludge. Don't judge me. I mean, we could have gone this way, but more sludge the better. is a long way down. I wonder if it says anywhere in like the story what happened to our wife. Um, did she leave us or I don't know, she she wasn't she wasn't dead as far as I'm aware, but where did she go? Oh look at him, look. Oh wow, we see that. That was quality. Whoa. What the hell is this stuff? That's just so weird. Oh, it slows you down. I know that much. But badly. This looks like a, a boss. A boss battle. Metal pipe. What am I using? So can you tether these? I thought you could tether these like... No, you can't. You know, like a booby trap. That's the kind of thing I was thinking of. Let me try... We've got the electric one, we've got the, that's the gas, and that one. Okay. Stop. 
Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept... No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. I was just talking about our wife and what happened to her. You were right all along. But... But why am I seeing this now? <gasps> Holy shit. Yeah. All right, I think we gotta get ready for a battle, guys. This is not gonna. Uh, this is not gonna go well. I don't think. <sighs> yep, I was right. <laughs> oh, that is one ugly monster. that thing maybe I can sneak past it sneak past it yeah oh, I suppose we could sneak over there damn Oh, I can't run. This is not a good idea. I literally... <laughs> um... I literally can't go anywhere without getting hit. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that was, uh, that was difficult. And I only got seen once, like just one time and then it just come after me, so. Okay. The problem is I can't see where he's looking. This is where third person mode would come in handy. 
Right, I'm just gonna run. If I can get the prompt in the there we go, the box. Right, ready when he turns around. Oh shit, how am I supposed to get round? Come on! Ah, come on! <laughs> Jeez. That was tough! That was tough. Cons cons oh, shit. Considering you're not supposed to actually try and kill him and just try and hide. I gotta get know? the hell out of here. Yeah, that was tough. You know we're gonna have to fight him though at some point. Yep, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. D5, that's where we want. This one's a bit trickier. Um. Okay, report 0053 to displacement protocols. Emergency call displacement protocols. It is imperative that the missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instigate, instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Mero server. Okay, looks like we make it. Looks like we made it. Maybe. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <coughs> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. W who told you that? Oh, no, it's our wife. Turn around. 
It could be her wife. Do it slow. Yep. Yep. I think that is her wife. You're Yukiko Hoffman. Oh, no, it's not. How do you know my name? <laughs> I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter, Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro-expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. I so thought they're them. sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. But the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union. And can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He's all... He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Okay, psychopaths. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent, aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. It's your fault. It's your you fault, love. You think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. 
He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Okay, I think we've covered all the bases there. So, I honestly thought then for a second that it was our wife. Um, I got all excited. <laughs> okay, wait, I've got the red sludge. Stim packs. I think we're good to go. Let's just have we read this? Let's read this. Core candidates. Lily Castellas Castellanos. Initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Give the give these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened to the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM. So a child is our best bet. Having access to a standardised school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we've found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. A test showed that she not only has a uh, gullius in the ego, I can't pronounce that word, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Okay. Let's grab that. And we just use the save box. Okay, right. I think we're ready to go back, guys. Let's go. This bit creeps me out quite a bit as well, where you kind of just walking through the trees. Very weird. Yeah, this I want to go back to the office real quick. A couple of things I want to check. We got a couple of um, uh, slides. Was that door there before? What the hell is this? It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. This. This is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. Oh, okay. What we got to do then? I must say, that is impressive, Detective. Well, thank you.
So how do we get to the... You're not going to talk to us? Uh, okay. Can I see the cat? <laughs> can hear him crying. Oh. Hello, cat. Yeah, so we've got a couple of... So we've got that one there. And then we've got this one. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened, and you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. Oh, the cat. Oh. Thanks, Kitty. Thanks, Kitty. Let's have a quick look at this if anything's changed. Oh, we've got some additional. I was able to dig up on your guy. Stefano Valentini. Artist. Yeah, that's him all right. He's quite a flamboyant character. Seems he never reached the level of success that he wanted. Sounds familiar. I know of another flamboyant artist who failed. Then he started World War II. Let's hope this one isn't that bad. Even if he's not, he still needs to be stopped. Okay, I'm not going to read these because they're about his, about his background. Okay. That mask. Okay, I think that we've got everything now. Yeah. And sit in the chair. Got twenty seven thousand, so we have enough for a couple of upgrades. Detective Castellanos. Always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> she never sounds pleased to see us though, does she? Makes me crack up. Okay, right, well, this we got a locker? We've got a key? We've got a couple of keys. Right. Ready? I'm gonna close my eyes. Ready? One. A D A D A D W and uh, I open them. Damn. Now. Ugh. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, we can't. All right, let's do that one. That one. All right. Not very good. Can we take these? It's a health kit, isn't it? No. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Let's get back in the chair and do... Uh... Relax, detective. How may I assist you? OK. 
Okay, so let's have a look at recovery. Recover more health when using health items. What's the next one? Let's do that one. I think these two are going to come in handy. Yeah, okay. Um, that's enough of the health. Let's go at a combat. Yeah. Steady hands. You got this one. Quite expensive though. Let's kick back. Let's take a look at health. Total health recovered when regenerating from near death status is increased. Uh, yeah, that might come in handy. What's this one here? If an attack would have just barely done enough damage to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it. <laughs> um. We don't have enough anyway. Um, look at stealth. I ain't got enough to do these either. Let's just leave. Let's just save our game real quick, and then we'll head back. So it looks like that um, Stevens didn't come back for us. So he's he's really dead. So, but he did mention about a weapon. So that sounds quite good. Let's uh, get out of here and see where we end All up. All right, the theater. I'm coming for you. Is that the theater there? Okay, let's go down here. I think that's a bottle, isn't it? Oh! Sniper time. Ready? Push! <laughs> One shot. I love it. Hang on, we've got another one of these. Sounds like another poltergeist. There's another one. 
Or was it the same one? Okay, so there's a couple of different areas. Oh! Oh, shit! What the hell is that? that what's that light? Let's go to that one. Yeah, I want to get the sniper rifle pouch. So, which is... Who knows? Yeah, we're, we're going to investigate this whole area first before we go down there. I want to make sure I get everything. Oh no, another train. Oh! Oh shit, that's quick! Can you hear him? <laughs> Where are you, bitch? Like he's uh, drinking a sl McDonald's Slurpee. <laughs> That's a long drop. Okay, let's head this way. See if we can find get one of these things up on the map. So, we're going to head to this one. Is this warehouse here. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, we might be able to get some goo. Looks like he killed himself.
The hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! It's this thing again. He's one ugly, crazy bitch. Oh shit, she's coming back. Um. Run! from me. Finally! I know you guys didn't see it, but that took quite some time to work that out. Something's wrong. Why is that thing chasing me again?
Okay, so we've got another thing there to investigate. We've got this one over as well. Okay, we're gonna do that. Power chop raid. Excellent. There's a house down the end here. I'm just going to have a quick look at that. Oh! Look at the size of this! Oh shit, you see me. Quickly. <laughs> I thought he was running towards me. Literally cheating myself. Go over that. Ah. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh! <woo. laughs> oh my god. I'm stuck on here. That was one big bastard. <laughs> Sounds like they're the right old good time though. Oh! Dude. What's looking at me? Something's looking at me.
so some of these are locked. Alright, let's see if we can take out this big beastie. You can't get up here, can you? Oh shit. <laughs> You're giggling to yourself. I wonder if you can't kill it. <laughs> Having a right up good time. Come on. I don't think you can kill this. Oh, hang on. It's dead. Thank God for that. Let's bring him over here. Come on, walk on the mine. Come on. That's it. Come on. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, we've been dipping again. Times are hard. Moving. Oh. <laughs> right. What else have we got here? There's a, like, there's loads of dudes around. I'm not going to bother taking them all out. We definitely need some ammo, though. Well, right, okay, we know that's going to be that's going to be a boss area there. Um, let's see if we can find a safe house real quick. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the safe house. Now, where are we? Yeah, okay, we need to go to there. Let's go back to the safe house, we'll refuel. And then we'll make our way to the boss. Let's get some coffee. Get that coffee on. That creature with the uh, the big chainsaw thing. I mean, that was that was pretty intense, and that took a lot of ammo to actually kill it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of big boss man we're going to have once we get through that gate. So it could be uh, it could be pretty intense. I'm looking for a workbench. Doesn't appear to be one here in this one. Uh, okay, uh, we'll, we'll leave the workbench then. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna head to the theater. What the 
hell are these things about? Damn it. Lily's inside there. You did not appreciate my beautiful Obscura's performance. Perhaps this one is more to your liking. Listen. No! Somebody help me! I'm preparing my greatest work yet. But you are not worthy enough to witness it. Not until you learn to respect my art. Listen. Listen to their screams. The echoes of my work. Respect art, huh? Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. Okay, so there's two, two areas where we can go. Have a quick look at the map. Okay, so let's take this one first. Lust for art. There's another safe house here as well, so let's make our way there. We need a workbench. Oh! Shit, okay. Can't go near it. Oh, keep moving. Wish they wouldn't move. Stay still when I'm trying to shoot you, please. There's loads of little uh, things over here. Okay. Handgun bullets. Oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're going to get those first. We need bullets. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Climb? Maybe I can get the jump on them. Oh, please stop moving. Okay. Now you can't shoot through the gate, which is annoying. Body just limbering along. Shit. 
There's more of them! They're coming from over there! Thanks! Alright, okay. Uh... Oh, shit! Come on, jump! <laughs> that was a lot of enemies. You just saved my ass. That was pretty tough. I didn't think you would come. You're uh, from the search team. Oh, I got a shooting sweat on. Whew, it's warm. <laughs> I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Come on. For some reason I can't run. Oh, there we go. That's not, I wanted that. That's it. Getting here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is? Yeah. We're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab your stuff first. Nice. Okay, what else has he got in here? Yeah, I don't Those know why locked, they. But I could get it open if you're willing to help. Okay, all right. Okay, so we got our mirror. Alright, let's go back and speak to him. Alright, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. Mm. Okay, getting out There's of Union? really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? Hmm, nah, good point. All I have to do is turn it on. How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey, I don't mind being a grunt. But the moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? 
Well that wraps up that video, if you want to see more then check out the channel, until next time guys, see ya.